Warte mal. Okay. Okay. So this series is gonna be when we read a bit of a book. So I'm gonna be giving you some information on this book. It's called Percy Jackson. So we're gonna read you the blog, okay? I read you the blog. I'm gonna show you at the same time. I read it. Seven heroic demigods. One final quest. Greatest sacrifice yet. The wounds are up, to, up there. Piper promised. I saw them in a catastrophic. Yeah, it is. Blade. Well, yeah. And you heard what Hazel said the biggest. The biggest gathering of evil spirits I've ever sensed. Jason records. Yeah, sounds awesome. After surviving many deadly quests, Percy, Jason, and and Beth and their friends face one final challenge: defeat an army of giants before Earth and the guy finally wakes and brings about the end of the world. Sorry if you can read that. What is this? And this in Waterstones in the UK. I'm not sure you are in the UK. It costs seven ninety nine, so about eight pounds. I'll get into it, so we're on page 48, if you want to read along. Rihanna, that's the chapter. Page 48, Rihanna. Collar as he sta uh, started to turn... Collar as... And basically, this is a very good series of books. Now, they started out with Percy Jackson. Now, it's about all of the demigods and all of them. And, like, it's really good. But I don't think Percy's going to die, because, like, that that would be just be like this. Oh, serious? Like this guy is in my like so much, and then he dies. That you do be hey, like, hey. you'd be like. Stop it! I hope he doesn't die. I've not read the back page yet, but I really want to. Might read it when when the end of the video comes. Okay. Call out. Wait, that doesn't make any sense. I plummeted towards the volcano. The largest. Nico, teleport us out of here. His eyes wild and confused. His dark feathery hair what in the face and raven shut eye sky. I can't no strength. Coach has bleated. News slash kid, goats can't fly. <laughs> Do it, she tightened her grip on his hand. Rihanna's inside felt like a no wait, let me rephrase that. We're on page forty nine, okay? Forty nine. Over crushed ice, her favourite treat from her childhood in Veji San June. I can't really pronounce that but tell me how to pronounce that guys. If you're reading along with me. She wondered why the memory would surface now when she was on the verge of death. Then her vision cleared. Her feet rested on solid ground. An eastern sky had begun to lit lighten. For the for a moment, Rihanna thought she was back in New Rome. Doric columns lined with atarium size of baseball diamonds in the front of her bronze fort stood in the middle of a sunken fountain decorated with mosaic tile. Creep. Marotos, rose bushes bloomed in the nearby garden. Palm trees and pines stretched skyward. Cobblestone paths led from the courtyard in several di several directions. Straight level roads of Roman construction, edging low stone houses with colonnade torches. When I turned behind her, her the Athen Parthenon stood intact, upright, dominating the courtyard like a literally oversized lawn ornament the little bronze fawn in the fountain pardon oversized lawn ornament the little bronze fawn in the, in the fountain had both of his arms raised facing athena so she he seemed to be cover cowering in fear of the new arrival on the horizon mount versus loomed a dark comeback shape now several miles Away, thick pillars of steam curled from the crest. We're in Pompeia, and I realised, oh, that's not good, Nico said, and he immediately collapsed. Whoa! Coach Hedge caught him before he hit the ground. 
Theta propped him against Athena's feet and loosened the harness and touched the Nyko to the statue. Apparently not already. Jenna's own knees buckled. She'd expected some blacklash. It happened every time she, she shared her strength, but she hadn't anticipated much raw anguish, anguish from Nyko D'Angelo. She sat down heavily, just managed to stay conscious. Gods of Rome. If this was only a portion of Nyko's pain, how could he bear it? She st- she tried to stay her breathing while Coach Hedge rummaged through his camping supplies around Nyko's boots. Stone cracked. Oh, Dark seems, Henry, seems radiated Henry, downwards like a shotgun blast of ink as Henry, Nyko's body were trying to expel it. All the shadows he had traveled, traveled through yesterday had been worse. An entire meadow with the ring skeletons rose from the dead. Brianna was anxious for that happening again. Drink, drink something. Shuffed in the canteen of unicorns, rock powder, horn, and mist with something, something. Six minutes in, I can't believe that. Put the screen. No, I can't really do that. <laughs> anyway, let's keep it. Um, drink, uh, powder mix with center lifted tide, but they found they found it white. Worked on Nyko better than Nectar, helping to clean and um, fetch darkness from his system with less da- danger of subcontinuous and combustion. Nyko gulped it down. He still looked terrible. His skin with skin with a blushy tint. His cheeks were sunken, hanging at his side. Scap. Skepta of delicate glowed angry purple like radiating booze. He studied Rihanna. How did you do that? The surge venerate. She Rihanna turned her form and the tattoo burned like hot wax. Symbol of Balinar S P Q R with four lines for her years of service. I, I I don't like to talk about it, she said. But it's the power from my mother. I can impart strength to others. Coach Hedge looks up from his Looks like seriously. Why haven't you hooked me up, Roman girl? I want super muscles. Muscles. That's what we were taught to say. Jeez, that's how we were taught to spell that word. Rihanna frowned. It doesn't lo- work like that, Coach. I can only do it with life and de- do it in life and death situations. It's more useful in large groups. When I command troops, I can share whatever troops I have in strength, courage, endurance, and multiplied. By the size of my forces, Nyko arched his eyebrows. Useful for a moment, pre pre praetor, pre praetor, praetor. I don't really know how to pronounce that. Rihanna didn't answer. She preferred not to speak of her powers for for exactly this reason. She didn't want demigods under her command to think she was controlling them, or that she'd become leader because she had some special magic. She could only share her qualities she already possessed, and she couldn't help anyone who. Wasn't worthy of being a hero, Coach had wanted. Too bad. Super muscles would be nice. He went up back sorting through his pack, which seemed to hold bottomless supply of cooking and tests, survivalist gear, and random sports equipment. Nyko took another swig of the unicorn jar. His eyes were heavy in exhaustion, but Rihanna could tell he was fighting to stay awake. We stumbled just now, he noted, when you used. When you use your power, you get some sort of um, feedback from me. It's not mind reading, she said. Not even M- an empty feeling, just a temporary wave of exhaustion, primarily emotions. Your pain washes over me. I take on some of your burden. Nyko's expression became guarded. Don't worry, kid. I'm going to line the perimeter with alarms and snares. Plus, I'll be watching over you the whole time with my baseball bat. That didn't seem to reassure Nyko, but his eyes were already half closed. Okay, but go easy. We don't want any of that, another balloon here. No, Rihanna agreed. Their first shadow traveled, travel experience together two days ago had been a total fiasco. Possibly the most humiliating episode. In Rihanna's long career, Rihanna's long career, perhaps someday, if they survive, they would look back on it and laugh, but not now. The three of them had agreed never to speak of it, 
what's happened in Alabina should stay in Alabina. Coach Hedge looked her Fine, whatever, just red rest kid. You've got you we've got you covered. Alright, Nico relented. Maybe a little. He managed to take off his avatar jacket and wad into his pillow before he kneeled and began to snore. Rihanna marvelled at his peaceful look. The worry lines vanished, his face became strange strangely angelic, like his surname D'Andro. She could almost believe he was a regular fourteen year old boy, not a son of Hades, who had been pulled out out of time from the nineteen forties and forced to endure more tragedy and danger than more damage could in a lifetime. When Nico had arrived at Camp Jupiter, Rihanna hadn't trusted him hadn't trusted had, didn't trust him. She had sensed there was more to his story than being um, ba, a, ba, an ambassador, a ba, a, ambassador for his father Pluto. Now, of course, she knew the truth. He was a Greek demigod, the first person living memory, and the first ever to go back and forth between Roman and Greek camps without telling either Greek that the other existed. Strangely, that made Rihanna trust Nico more. She wasn't sure he wasn't. She. No, Kumar, she sure he wasn't Roman. He never hunted with Lupo or enjoyed the brutal Legion training. But Nico had proven himself in other ways. He kept this camp secret for the best reason because he feared war. He'd plunged into Tartarus alone, voluntarily, to find the doors of death. He'd been captured and imprisoned by giants. He'd led the crew of the Argo two into the house of Hades, and now he had accepted yet another double, yet another terrible quest, risking himself the whole Athene. Athena and Parthenus back to Camp Half-Blood. I'm going to finish on that, page 55. 12 minutes in, I can't believe that. Well, guys, I know I'm so sorry that I haven't got the PS4 with me, so I can't show you that. But I promise tonight it will be done. I promise you. I promise, I promise, I promise. Okay? So... Tiny session now. Woof woof.